ever wondered how a patch update can change everything? In today's episode, we install the latest update, explain why our town looks different, and embark on a massive expansion. Our population skyrockets from 189 to 233. The food glitch is gone, yay! And the game feels more balanced. Ready to see the transformation? Let's dive in. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. So uh, the town looks different because there is a beta patch that I have uh, installed. The game has been updated. So I'm going to quickly run through the changes that you see here on your screen with the big one being our pasture looks different and we do not have as many sheep as before. Our mine has moved to over here. We've got two fields and a farm to produce bread. Let's continue. Let's grow our city. One thing that I have to note that uh, with the change I kind of lost the progress that we had in our first three videos so if you want to go check that out check in the link below the playlist will be linked there I did some off-camera work to kind of restart and I got the population back to what it was before I installed the patch so many things that we have to talk about the game is much more balanced and we have to deal with the royal tax it uh, kind of makes it a little bit more challenging because now you have to worry about producing or getting money. We do not have that glitch where our food and fuel is running out. We've got plenty of that. I've got roof tiles because here I had a mine. Now I don't have a mine anymore. It ran dry. So now I'm just transporting last pieces of clay so that it can be turned into roof tiles and then that can be transported so that we can sell it and make money. We have moved all of our clay out of the mine and our treasury demolish. Let's get rid of this thing. Then we have a ton of roof tiles that we need to get rid of. Let's do that. So you might be wondering why isn't my town growing anymore? It's because I do not have houses for them and I'm not going to build houses at the current moment because I want to kind of slow down my growth, right? And focus on building up what we have. I think that is a good strategy. Don't expand too fast. But with that being said, I am going to purchase a different piece of land because ultimately the goal of this series is to conquer the entire map. That is what we need to do and that is what I'm going to strive for when doing this series. So my town looks a little bit different, I have to say. What do you guys think? Does it look better than before? We've got someone to replant the trees that we've been cutting down. <laughs> because we've been we've been cut down a big area of trees then also our charcoal kiln this is much more effective so if you get a wood cutter they will get your firewood but don't make them set up a stall they will be sending their firewood to the charcoal kiln they will make charcoal and then before I did take this off like I didn't allow them to sell at the market I was kind of hoping to let them store it here and then the storehouse can sell on the marketplace because they've got all the goods, right? It's easier for them. Same with my food, but I kind of allowed others to do that as well because I got worried. This is going to yield some flour and that flour is going to be turned into bread. Maybe we should build more hitching posts and upgrade them into stables. Wow, a lot, a ton of bread. Let's build more houses. So when I build more burger plots, I'm going to kind of balance them with making food and shoes because I also want to start selling shoes and making money on that. So I'm importing barley to create my ale, the malt, and then take the malt and create ale. My marketplace is also much, much smaller. Another damn winter, but we're going to make it. We've got enough food. We've got enough fuel. I would like to get more food. Only 200 influence to go and then we can start claiming our second area. I also still have this entire area to work with. Yeah, massive, massive upgrades, expansions. We did a ton of things. I'm very happy with the result. We've got six oxen that are like just open. Welcome to the end of the episode review. What we're going to do is uh, just show you what I've done in the episode. So here are a more burgage plots. They are produced vegetables oh, 
massive upgrades. Town looks so beautiful right now. So yeah, I guess uh, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoy my content. If you do, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. It really does help me a lot. Then also please uh, check out our membership page by clicking the join button below. If there is no join button, you can find both links to YouTube membership and Patreon membership in the description below. If you wanna see where we started with this entire series click in the video that you see up here and it will take you to that playlist alternatively you can find the link to the playlist in the description below because there are some funny things that we learned along the way that being said i'm going to give my current supporters the credit that they deserve by putting their names in the credit roll so if you want your name in the credit roll be sure to become a member credit roll in three two one go Alrighty then. So I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.